afternoon to viewers from all over the world. This is Desimus, and you're welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking never spring. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self development. And if you don't have that, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share the video with friends, and give us a subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back and I thank you for your love and support. I'm going to talk about the black sheep. I have about four or five signs that you are the black sheep or you have been the black sheep of your family. So the black sheep normally, to put it in simple terms, those are the individuals who are the different ones. You know, the reason why they call you the black sheep is because you're the one who is different. So you're the, you're the one who doesn't actually fit in with the rest of the family members. And actually, sometimes you've had your parents. They have usually labeled you different. You know? So your parents have usually been talking to you earlier on. And they have been telling you that, why are you different from the rest? You know, why isn't, uh, why aren't you following what everybody, what everybody is doing in the family? Why do you want to go left when actually everybody is going right? So actually that's one of the signs right there. The sign that actually the black sheep, the black sheep of your family, number one is when your parents and your family members, all the people sometime around you, they're labeling you different. So a lot of times, you don't clap when everybody's clapping. And uh, even if you clap, you realize that actually nobody else is clapping. You know what I mean? So you're the person who is different. You have been labeled different all your entire life. That is the first time, the first sign right there that you're actually the black sheep or you have been the black sheep of your family. Sign number two is when earlier on in the journey, when you was a kid. So your parents used to um, isolate you most of the times. So it's like, for example, the other kids who are playing that way, your parents would have sometimes decided to lock you up in a certain room and they don't want you to actually engage with the other kids. Or even sometimes when there was, um, maybe your parents sometimes came back home and you know it was Christmas, everybody was opening some Christmas gifts, some boxes. It was only your box that was missing. So for some reason, your parents, they refused to come and give you the gifts or give you the same favors that everybody is getting. So you have been missing out on gifts and presents and surprises. So most of the times on those days, those big days, you are the one who didn't have a suit. So when everybody else was dressed up, uh, going to enjoy the occasion, everybody, you know, the, the fathers, you know, the mothers have got them their nice suits and everything. So you are the one who wasn't well dressed or sometimes you even missed that occasion most of the times. So the other sign that um, you have been the black sheep of the family is um, normally, which is the common one, is when you're always being scapegoated for things that you know nothing about. So for example, somebody is going to mess up. A sibling, one of your siblings may mess up in the home. And they may do something very bad or very dirty and they don't want to be caught. So most of the times, they know that at, at some point, somebody's going to ask, you know, they could have stolen something from the kitchen or they could have stolen something from the living room or they could have done something wrong, really terribly wrong. And they, they really know that they are going to be held accountable. Should they find out that they are the people who have done that, they're going to be held accountable. So that is when you're going to see those siblings, they're going to single you out as the person who has actually done that thing. So that thing is called scapegoating. So normally, scapegoating means that uh, somebody is trying to run away from shame or run away from um, from being blamed from some, from, for, for some stuff that they could have possibly done. And they are looking for a way to get out of it. So for them to be able to get out of it, they have to single you out as the person who has done that thing. You know what I mean? So that is the easiest way they can get away because they know when they put you out there as the person who has, been, who has done that particular thing, Nobody's going to ask any more questions and you're actually going to take the blame 
for all these other things that other people have not uh, other people have done and you haven't done so actually most of the times you have been seeing yourself along your journey being scapegoated by um a lot of these other family members that is also another sign that um you have been the black sheep of your family another sign that you've been the black sheep of your family is when you have been missing out on uh, occasions you know so there's been a family meeting for example and your father's gathered everybody to to come and sit around and uh, they want to talk about something you know what i mean but um for some reason it could have been a wedding it could have been a, a, a birthday it could have been a thanksgiving it could it could have been any occasion you know so your siblings and your other family members were celebrating only for you to realize that actually for some reason they did not invite you. So it's like they have been actually eating without you. So most of the cases, when there's those kind of groups, group meetings or gatherings or celebrations within the family, they do not feel like they need your presence. You know, so your presence is actually insignificant. And actually little do they know that you're the only person not supposed to miss on those occasions. So they do that on purpose to hurt you. So you have asked them that, okay, so how come that you guys were went to a such, such and such a place? Sometimes they, sometimes they, sometimes they may even um, uh, communicate within themselves that they are going to a certain destination, only for you to find out that actually you are the only one, you are the only one who wasn't notified. So they will always gather and go somewhere and have those meetings and have those bad past, small little secret parties and have those birthday presents, and actually. You're the one who has been seen without you have not been notified and actually you have missed out on those occasions. That is a very big sign right there that actually you're the black sheep of your family. You know what I mean? So all these things are not all these things are happening subconsciously. So on a very subconscious level, these people they feel you are a threat. So they feel that as long as you exist in that family, there is some things that are some things that are not going to be done, or rather not to be said because of your presence and they can feel that energy you know what i mean so from a very young age you've seen these family members they've been trying to find a way of eliminating you from different kinds of occasions or situations but they didn't know how they didn't know how to do that so most of the times you've seen them going behind your back and carrying on and doing a lot of things without your without your presence without even sometimes notifying you you know what i mean so that's another one right there so another one sign that your black sheep of your family is when you um you have seen a lot of times your family members they've been calling you crazy and stupid so a lot of those family members actually i've told you guys over and over again that this whole thing is not supposed to be taken personal so you just need to understand where they're coming from they just do not understand you because i've told you guys the black sheep the reason why they call you the black sheep is because you are the unexpected guest. So actually, on a very uh, um, spiritual aspect, they did not see you coming. You know what I mean? So you just happen to land into that family. And nobody doesn't understand where you came from. Sometimes you will see your parents, even sometimes they are, they, are, they, are, they are cursing out. They are like telling you things like, I do not even know why I gave birth to you. You know what I mean? I should have had an abortion. Or the things like that. Even sometimes in reality, they may have even tried to have tried to have an abortion to exterminate you, but for some reason things didn't work out, and actually, um, you were born in that family. So, what you're seeing now is that a lot of family members they are turning around and calling you crazy. You know, so you're hearing things like you so you you crazy. You know, you don't know what you're doing, and. Uh, and most of the times you're right, you know what I mean? You may even sometimes sometime come into a, 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 an occasion, a situation, and you try to even sometime warn them, you tell them, listen, guys, that thing you're going to do is not the right thing. You guys should abort mission immediately. And then you're seeing these family members, oh, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. Who do you think? Why do you think you're so clever? Why do you think you know everything? So a lot of times they've been gaslighting you. So most of the things you've been saying, or uh, most part of your life, they have been... The right things but those people did not want you to know to actually did not want to acknowledge that you were doing the right thing or you were saying the right thing so because of that uh they have invalidated you and most of the times they have called you crazy you know you're stupid you don't know what you're talking about 
you don't know what this thing is all about, you should shut up. Sometimes maybe even in family meetings, you have been trying to say something. And then those individuals, they have actually shut, uh, made you to shut up, you know, ask you to shut up actually, because they do not believe whatever you're saying is valid. You know, so they have usually invalidated whatever it is you had to say in those family gatherings or family meetings. So the black sheep, you are always the one who is sitting in the corner somewhere and watching things from a distance and letting everybody take the lead. You know what I mean? So you did not want to participate. Even if you, even if sometimes you would participate, you would also notice that there was a lot of resistance because there was people who did not want your input on a, on a lot of different types of things uh, within the family unit. You know what I mean? So this thing of uh, black sheep, being a black sheep, it's usually conditioning uh, you to feel like you are the lesser one. You know, you are the little, um, the little scared rabbit somewhere hidden in the corner and nobody ever wanted you to show your presence or nobody ever wanted you to speak. So the other sign I can think about, so this thing is coming in as per download, guys. So you just bear with me. The other sign I can think about that you are the black sheep in the family is when actually you are involved with a very, very toxic family. So you're seeing a lot of uh, abuse, that is number one, and you're seeing a lot of evil within the family. So you may see a lot of family members, they are witches, they're into witchcraft, they're always going to these wizards and they are doing a lot of these concussions and everything. You are seeing witchcraft all over the house. Also, you are seeing a lot of, sometimes you are seeing a lot of very, very, very toxic parents. You know, sometimes you are seeing them beating your mothers in front of you or you're seeing them beating your siblings in front of you. So there's most likely in that family a narcissistic parent who is at the top. It could be your mother or it could be your father. So if you've been the black sheep who has grown up with um, like uh, relatives, it is that person at the top who is actually the one taking care of you, your caretaker. If you realize that they are toxic and the people around them actually cannot see this. So no matter how toxic they are, it's like no matter what they do, the people around them are going to validate whatever it is they are doing. But you as the black sheep, you are the only one who can see that actually whatever they are doing is BS. And you're sometimes not trying to conform with whatever they are doing, sometimes even opposing whatever it is they are doing. And that is why most of the times you have been, you've been actually getting punished because you are not you are non-conformist. You are refusing to conform with the, the family and other family members and the things that they decided to do. So that is one of the signs that you are a black sheep in the family when you are actually dealing with a very toxic parent at the top or sometimes you are dealing with a, a group of uh, people who are into uh, occultism sometimes, they're into witchcraft, they're into all this kind of dark magic and all this kind of stuff. So a lot of stuff, very dark activity is happening within that family. So what is actually happening is that the universe is showing you what your mission is. So on a very spiritual level, the universe is allowing you to see these things because the things that the universe is allowing you to see, they are at some point in time going to be part of your mission. So the reason as to why nobody else can see this and nobody else can understand what is going on. So a lot of them are swimming along or they are moving along with the flow, but you're refusing to conform because you believe there is something wrong with that thing. So the universe is allowing you to see these things in a different picture. So your eyes are not the same like all the family members' eyes, the other family members' eyes. It is your eyes that are different, you know what I mean? Because you came into this universe with these spiritual eyes that can see what, what other things, things that other people do not see, you know what I mean? So you're seeing your parents that they're toxic. You're seeing that they are doing this or they are moving this way and you're seeing these, a lot of these things are BS. And uh, you're fighting with that because you're refusing to conform. So that's the reason as to why whenever you, call, whenever you, 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 you refuse to conform with this uh, group of family, family group and everything, and members. Sometimes you've been always punished. So your parents sometimes will punish you even so for no apparent reason. Why did you do this? Or why did I tell you to do this? And you did that, you did that. And so you are going to say a lot of times, uh, you could have been punished for some of the decisions that you've been deciding to do in that family unit. You know what I mean? So the other sign that you're the black sheep of the family is uh, when you have usually been a loner. So you have got this group of family members, you know, five, six, seven of them, it doesn't matter. They, they can always go on because sometimes sometimes these dysfunctional families, they tend to have a lot of siblings. You know what I mean? 
these toxic family units. But you see, no matter how many you are in the home, you always find yourself you're a loner. So sometimes you are, you see these other family members, they are in the, they are in the backyard playing football or playing soccer, or they are running to the beach to go and have a swim. And then you are the only one who is sitting in the corner and you are not actually participating in these occasions. You know what I mean? You are there, you're watching them, whatever it is they are doing, and you're watching everything. Um, but then at the same time, you decide not to participate. You know what I mean? So you might have had a family which are, which are, for example, my family, they used to be church goers. So those were the guys who, who was always in church, you know, going in church all, uh, uh, all the time. But me personally, I was a person who was not conforming with church. So I was never a religious person. I used to grow up in a, I grew up in a Catholic family, in a Christian family. But I was an unconformist. It didn't matter whether I was at home or whether I was at school. I refused to conform with those kind of groups and religion and stuff like that. So you will also um, be sitting somewhere and refusing to follow the crowd, however right it may seem, wherever, wherever right the direction may seem that they are going. You have refused to conform and you're just deciding to be a loner and sit somewhere in the corner by yourself and just do your own thing. So another sign that you're the black sheep of the family is when you are you're doing you're you're doing things differently. So this may be the way you decide to dress. You may be actually choosing a different dress code, and you decide to dress a certain way. You know, and sometimes when you dress in that way, sometimes your family members are mocking you. You know what I mean? They're like, "Oh, why did you decide to 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 put that suit, or why did you wear that trousers?" Or sometimes they are laughing at your clothes because you feel that um, all the choices you want to make in life are different. You know what I mean? You may be the only person who is playing basketball and the other ones are all playing football. Or you may be the only person who is in a boarding school and the other ones are all in a, in a, in a, day, in a day school. Or you may be sometimes the only person who is into spirituality and the other person are all religious. So the black sheep, as always, they have said you are the different one. That's the reason why they call you the black sheep, because you're always the different one. And one of the last signs I want to share with you guys, there can so be so many, so many signs uh, as we go along, I meet. I mean, uh, do another video on this. But the other sign that you're a black sheep of your family is when you have been having a pet name. So when you're in your family, your family has used the pet name. So they have not been usually calling you by your real names. And they have decided to find out, find a name, you know, in a very mocking way. So sometimes you may not have seen this, but this name was actually uh, designed to make you feel smaller, you know what I mean? So the, whichever name they decide to use against you or for you, is going to be a name that sometimes when people are hearing you, other people are hearing them calling you this name, sometimes everybody may laugh at you. So those, those kind of pet names, people, they develop them subconsciously. So this thing is a subconscious thing that is happening. They develop this pet name subconsciously because they want to make you feel uh, smaller in the family, you know what I mean? So if a person who has had a pet name in your family and your family members, all of them were accustomed and used to call you that particular pet name, you had better. But you, on the other hand, actually, let's even add this one because this one is very important. They have usually called you that pet name, but you have never called anybody with a pet name. I want you to listen to this one very closely. Ladies and gentlemen, Black Sheep, I told you guys you are the chosen ones. They have been using this pet name they have been calling you this pet name all along. But you're the only person who has been calling all the other family members by their real names. You know what I mean? So, for example, they could have decided to call you a little chicken or a little monkey. I'm just giving you an example. But whenever you are addressing those individuals, you are actually calling them by their real names. So you never used any pet name with the family members. You have always called them by their real, name, by their real names, but actually they have always used a pet name against you. So this is one of the biggest signs that you're actually the black sheep of your family. So the reason why I'm giving you these signs is because a lot of you guys, you're still struggling to understand if your family is toxic. You don't know what they call a dysfunctional family. You don't know even sometimes what they call a narcissistic family unit. And sometimes because you've been conditioned in this way, you're not supposed to see these things that are happening. So I'm giving you these signs to open your eyes so that you can understand that actually you are the person that has been chosen in those families, the different one, who is actually going to, at some point in time, 
be responsible to break that generational trauma. So you're there for a purpose. That, that's the reason as to why you are seeing a lot of things are very different in that family. You don't understand at that point why, why everything is not going the way you think, everything is different, you don't understand anything around you, is because you have been sending those families. So you are the spiritual um, assignment for that family. You are the person that has been sent, the chosen one that has been sent in that family to bring an end to that generational trauma. So there's a lot of trauma that has been happening in that family. Nobody has been able to see it. Some people have tried to break that trauma over the years. They have failed. Now you're the person that actually has come to bring an end to that generational trauma that has been eating up those family members, like I've been saying in my videos. So I would like to know which one of these sides resonates with you. I might have given, I might, I said, I said I would give you guys about four or five, but I think we've even got more than five. I'm not even counting. So let us know which one of them resonates with you. Ladies and gentlemen, you always know that I love and appreciate your support. You can book a session with me if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. Or you may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description section below. And until then, it's been nice to have you guys on board. I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's a signing out.